So I've just picked myself up some of these Atom downlights, and they've got Wiz Connected Pro um, in built into them. Now they obviously have color changing, so they go from cool white to warm white, and they have RGB, and they each driver is has a Wi-Fi module inside it, so they're individually controllable, and they can dim down quite low, which is the reason that I got them. I was going to try them out in my daughter's room. I've got four of them. At the moment in her room, I've got some cheap downlights, and they don't dim very well with an Aotech Z-Wave dimmer. They flicker, and they don't go down very low. So these are doing their job. They're working well. They go down quite low, and they're fun to play with. You can change the, the colors, and they have all different modes and schedules, and you can set circadian cycles, and the app works quite well. Like the app is okay. Um, however, I don't think it really goes down that low. Um, I've got some good quality downlights from Unios, um, and they go down possibly lower than this one does um, with a regular cut phase um, phase cut dimmer. Um, but apart from that, these are quite good. They uh, integrate with all the Home Assistants and IFTT, but they do not connect to Home Assistant. Um, there's no con there's no component and there's no easy way to connect it up. Unlike the LifeX lights, uh, which are a comparable price, they're about the same price. Uh, the LifeX lights have a, a component that you can use so you can connect them up to Home Assistant. These don't have that and they've got no API to use as of yet. Uh, this is the downlight itself. Um, it's just a flush stand looking downlight. They're flatter than the LifeX ones. The LifeX ones stick right up like this. Um, these ones have a separate driver that attaches to them. Um, they also make another version which has a recessed lens, which looks a bit nicer. However, it didn't have the, um, the Bluetooth that this one has built into it. And these have individual drivers like this one, which mounts in the roof and plug in. And as regular downlights, they turn it on and off with your switch. Uh, if you turn it from off and then on again, it changes from warm white to cool white. Um, if you want to do anything else, you have to do it with the, with the app. The only problem I've found is that that sometimes one light won't come on or one light is won't change and then it sort of catches up and it adjusts itself. Um, I also found that they don't have very good signal. I'm only getting about 26% reception on them, but that's probably because I've got uni, uh, Unify access points and they're ceiling mounted and these of course go above the ceiling so I don't think they get very good signal because they're above the access points area of range where they work properly. Anyway, they are working and doing their job. And But these drivers are interesting because I always thought it'd be cool to have a driver with Wi-Fi built into it so it can be controlled individually from Home Assistant and using pulse width modulation, perhaps through ESP Home, to control the light. And this is exactly what this driver does. So I've opened it up to check it out and it's quite interesting. Although having tried these lights, I probably wouldn't want to do my lighting this way. I'd probably stick to having regular downlights with just a, a single controller for them on the wall near the switch. But anyway, it's interesting to have a look at no less. So it's got a standard ESP32 module in here. Underneath that ESP module is five MOSFETs logic level MOSFETs um, that according to the data sheet need 4.5 volts to achieve their proper RDS on. And as you most would know, these only put out a 3.3 volt PWM signal. However, the voltage coming into this module, which I measured, is about 16 volts on the VCC pin. So there's probably something going on on this, mo on this board here perhaps, that is putting out a voltage higher than 3.3 volts PWM. But it's got the red, green, blue, the cool white, warm white, ground voltage. I don't know what SB is, so I'm not sure whether SB is to turn something on that we need that's important. However, I would like to try flashing this with ESP Home to see if perhaps you can just set it up in Home Assistant 
and control the light this way because that would be pretty cool. The only problem is it's a rather expensive way of controlling one downlight at around about $80. Anyway, interesting to check out. So that's the light, the Atom light fitting. If you like this video, subscribe for more. And if you really liked it, give us a thumbs up. Um, thanks for watching.